Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today we're going to play a little bit around a little bit more with uh, DWM. Now, at the end of the last video, if you watched that, and I will uh, link that up above if you want to watch that nonsense, I was a complete noob. I was just messing around with DWM basically for the first time. I'd been in it a few times before, but never really learned anything. Um, you also noticed a big flaw when I was working on DWM blocks. Um, basically these are scripts, and I forgot to make this script executable, and that's the reason why the script never actually showed up in the status bar. I fixed that, and I learned how to do some DWM blocks, so if we go through, actually, and look at my scripts here, we, uh, I have a whole bunch here now. Um, I got the forecast, which is this one here. I stole that from Luke Smith. Um, let's see, I got the mail one, I also stole that from Luke, um, why bother writing it myself when he's done it for me, is the way I look at that stuff, uh, I've also got a, I'm, I'm not using the memory one right now, but I have that, I have the MPD, which is one that I actually created myself, so if we, uh, that's just really simple, it's a bash script, it displays the current title, the current artist with these icons, and... That's, you know, that co that comes from MPC, and it was, you know, just a simple bash script that displays that and gets started with um, DWM blocks. So, I've learned how to create blocks for D DWM blocks, and um, today what I want to do a little bit is figure out how to make these colors. Now, I, I just want something other than white text up there. And I'm not sure how to do it yet, so that's what we're going to be learning about how to do today. So we're going to learn together. That's the way I do my videos. I'm, these are not tutorials. They're not meant to be tutorials. If you learn something, that's great. Uh, if you don't learn anything, or uh, I should say, if you learn what not to do, that is probably the best thing you'll pull from these videos. So let's go ahead and uh, close this and go to a different tag, and we'll open up a browser. And we will search. I've done literally. I've I got some idea about how this is done, but I'm still so totally confused. So, if we look at for how to uh, theme DWM blocks, I'm not sure what we'll get. This person is telling you how to install patching. Restart W. Oh, hold on, hold on a second. First patch I'm going to use is DWM restart. Like, hold on a second. I've been wanting to do this for ages. This makes it possible to restart DWM in place. What I mean by this is that you do not have to restart your X session and by logging out, you can just refresh DWM so that if you make a changes into your status bar, you can change the instance. Oh, I want this. We're gonna do this first, uh, so you'll get to see me patching. Let's see if hopefully, hopefully this patch works. Cause I only failed at a patch once before. Um, save link as, okay. Save, and we'll go ahead and do this in cd into dot config slash dwm and patch. I wonder why I've been doing it differently. I think I will just continue to do it the way I was doing it. Huh, look at that, it worked. Okay, so make sudo make install. And that worked. <laughs> that actually worked really well. Okay, so let's um, go into um, config.h here and see. Oops, we already have that opened. Um, abort. Okay, we're going to control that. 
here again. Let's see if I have a key binding now. I'm assuming this will be the last time here I'll have to go through and do a restart. Um, to like add it to the bottom. Hmm. I did notice that I have. Um, Oh no, I don't have that twice. I thought I had it twice. Um, it's Q and X, okay. Um, it might not be in here yet. Let's. I'm going to pause and restart, and uh, we'll see uh, how this worked out. We'll see if there's a, a built-in key binding. I may end up having to. Let's see here. After you have re rebuilt WM, you will have to restart manually now. But after that, you can use the mod shift control Q. Mod control shift and Q. Well, that's one hell of a combination. All right, anyways, we're going to try that out because that's going to really help. Um, so anyways, I'm going to pause and then we'll come back and see if it works. Okay, I'm back. And uh, let's see if this works out here. So mod shift control and R. That did nothing. Okay. Uh Apparently that opens up fuzzy shirt search, which is interesting. I didn't know that did that. It's a CD. CD them config dot H. Um, let's see if it actually added it to it, because it might not have added it to this. It might have added it to. Um, It should be uh, a monstrosity of a key binding. I don't see it. Mod shift control and Q is what it, that said. Maybe that just doesn't work. Let's um look in the standard them config def h and we'll scroll down. Yes, it's right here. Okay, let's do this. We're gonna have to add this manually, I think. Uh, so if we open up a vertical split here and config.h, okay, and scroll down to we're at the proper spots. I want to make sh I want to get my envim thing here. Um, set up so it remembers position because that's really annoying that it doesn't. Okay, so yank, yank, and control L, P. Okay, control W, Q. Okay. Now I'm gonna have to pause and rebuild again. So uh, let's see, make. Sudo make install. Okay, that worked out well. All right, and we'll pause again, rebuild, and see if that works this time. Now, if that, I'm so I'm back. Obviously, if that worked, I should be able to mod shift control and R. That still did nothing. Ah, uh, I wonder. All right, so. Maybe that was the wrong key binding. Mod control shift and Q. Mod control shift and Q. Mod control shift and Q. Uh -huh. That should have worked. Okay, I think it worked. It also moved all of my windows onto one single <laughs> tag, which is really weird. Um, that's odd, but that's okay. Move that to three. Uh, move that to over there and move this to two and move this go and go to three go to two 
Alright. <laughs> That's weird that it moves all your windows to one tag. But if that works, if that works, that means that should be the last time I should have to pause this video for today. So, winning. Anyways, we'll go to three and see what else this guy has. Um, customizing tag indicators. Uh, the activate indicator bar patch allows a little bar above the tag numbers instead of a square. I think it just looks better. Mm, I don't need to do that yet. Uh, font awesome. We already have font awesome installed. And see the thing about this here, and I might do this, but I have two monitors, and I don't want both monitors that have tags that look exactly the same because I don't need two workspaces with these icons. So that's not agreeing. Status indicators with DWM blocks. Wow, look at that. That's a really cool looking status bar. Uh, has no information whatsoever other than the time. Okay. okay. All right, so DWM, DWM blocks makes it possible to update the different indicators separately. I'll put the link to this in, in the description if anybody wants to see it. I've never seen this person before, so it looks really well written. Uh, DWM blocks make it possible to update the different indicators separately. This is much better than running every status indicator in one infinite loop like you would have to do with X set root, which is the way you used to have to do it. Um, update them every one second or something. Like, why would I want to... This guy, uh, with DWM blocks, you can set diff different update intervals. You already said that. The keyboard layout indicator does not even have to be updated automatically. It only... I have to be updated if I switch keyboard layout, so I can just update a sig signal for it. So he's going over how to install C it's DWM blocks. I'm using spaces in the icons column to have some padding between indicators. Well, that's good. That's a good idea. Um, more interesting colors. How do you do the? How are you doing the colors? Okay, colors with pie wall. I don't. I don't want to use pie wall. Now configure DWM to use generated colors. Open open config.def.h and locate the following part. Comment out and delete the above lines and replace them with a single line. I don't want to use pie wall. That's disappointing. Yeah, gaps. That's interesting. Okay, so that was that wasn't as great a tool as I'd hoped, because he's using pie wall, and I don't want to use pie wall. I mean, I suppose we could. I mean, why not? You know what? What the hell? We're gonna use pie wall. That's not what I was planning on doing, but we'll do it. So we'll open up the thing here and, and and install the damn thing. So sudo. I gotta learn how to type. Dash pi wall. Okay. See how long this takes to install. Oh, not not very long at all. Okay. So now we go to th we can close the, this and we, it says to comment out or delete the above lines and replace them with a single line. Replace the path to your home directory, so e.g. home, my username. Oh, okay, I understand what you're talking about. Home slash Dr. Emdo should work. Now open the dwm.c file and search for the following line. Okay, so... Alright, so we're gonna go to the top here. We're gonna it says to comment out everything here. So it's a uh, I'm not gonna delete these just in case it doesn't work. Insert slash uh, asterisk and that goes down to this, so that's asterisk star, right? Mm. So, 
slash asterisk asterisk there you go alright and it said to include that okay WQ okay and then it said to do replace the, the oh we gotta go back and replace the path that'd be dumb that's don't be an idiot Matt Okay, that should work. Okay, now we need to replace the. We did that. Now open dwm.c. Okay, and we gotta search for this line here. Enum schema scheme norm. So all we have to do is add a comma and this part here. You know. Okay, here we go. Make sure that that looks the same. There is there is a space after that. Uh, does is there another comma? No. Oops. Keep going on the wrong tag. All right. Okay. And this is needed because 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 nice spelling and because there fella. Pywall generates different border colors for urgent windows, and the build would fail if scheme urge would not be defined. Now, run the following command to actually set your wallpaper and generate the colors. Okay. Oh, that was a dumb thing to do. <laughs> he actually got to do a path to image, so uh, let's do pictures slash walls yeah sure why not um, let's just do new wall I don't know what that is and that changed the color weird colors but it works for now Okay, and we can close that. And then rebuild and start re DWM. So we need to go back over to two and uh, make. So, oh, where it's not going to rebuild. Uh oh. We're probably going to have to delete those. Mistyped. Yep, so then config.h. Balls. Okay. Um, before I do that, I'm going to upload this to um, GitHub so, so I don't so, uh, git add all git mit pi wall. Oops, dumbass. Okay, get uh, push. I don't understand. <laughs> and nothing ever works for me, really. Um, I don't want to delete all that stuff. You want it? Fine. We'll just do this. Cp config dot h two fig dot old. Just do it that way. Um, <laughs> that's not the way I want to do it, but we'll do it anyway. So, and we'll delete this. Hmm. 
make. Still no. Okay. In DWMC. Alright, so let's see what these errors are. Oh, balls. This is why I should have just figured out how to do the colors. In config.h line 53 error undeclared not oh, I bet you there oops damn okay so line 53 is what it said oh okay you wanna I don't use D menu anyway so let's do this do uh, slash star star slash okay and save that and now make so still at one ah we're so we're going to go back up here d menu command because mm, I still have I still call that which is this one here Slash star, this is turned into a bit of pain in my ass. Now, still no. Okay. D D WMC. D why is why did he? D why do they have DWM com DDB menu command in the DWMC file? That doesn't. Um, God, I don't want to have to. Uh, ugh. Okay, so I guess we're going to go search for DW CD. And why aren't they the same color? Why don't the colors stay the same? If I do this and the colors don't even stay constant, this is going to be a pain in my ass. Alright, um... Then DWM.C We're going to search for D-M-E-N-U-D -E More misadventures in DWM for me. I don't I don't want to delete all this. What if this is needed? Okay. You want to know what I'm going to do? I'm going to control all of this and we're going to go back into config.h. And what we're going to do instead of getting rid of dwm command We're just going to get rid of the colors. We're just going to get rid of col the colors. Okay. And then we can go down here and Okay, now if we make yes, it works. Sudo install. Okay, built. <laughs> that was a pain in the ass. Now, what I should be able to do is do mod shift control Q, and that should have changed colors. It did change colors. It didn't change any of these colors, but it changed the colors of this, <laughs> and it made all of my um, things. We can now over there, and we we'll move this to three, and this to two, and this to two, and go to two. All right, that was a pain in the ass. For uh, and I mean, really, it kept the same wallpaper. 
<laughs> Alright, so if we go up here, go back to three, and we run this command, where is it again? Uh, this command here. So go to three. Okay, see if we have the, the wall. Let's see if we have it in the history here. Okay, so let's find it. Let's actually go through and find a different. Uh, that's cool looking wallpaper. I'll admit, that's cool looking wallpaper. Okay, so let's go ahead and look for a different wallpaper and see what it looks like. It still didn't, you know, do the things that I wanted to do. Um, but it's cool. Because I can bind that to a key binding in SXHKD and, you know, change wallpaper to... I'm, I'm assuming it uses, like, FET or something. Anyways, let's, uh, walls. Let's see here. Let's do 140 underscore 2. All right. I mean, it kept this. So do we have in order to get that this change to those colors to change again? So I want to see. And what's the purpose if termite remains the same colors when you spawn a new, you know, terminal? That's dumb. That feels like a waste of my time. <laughs> you know what I mean? It feels like it was a waste of my time. Um, so, alright, well, you know what, there has to be a way, then, to get ter termite to use Pywall. I mean, I suppose what we could do is, is uh, URXVT, that uses, is going to use the same colors, because those come from X resources. I wonder about Alacri. No, that uses its own. Okay. Have we followed the wiki? No. Hmm. Add this line to your shell startup file. Okay. <laughs> it worked. <laughs> yeah. All right. So I wonder, if, in order to get DWM to also, you know, follow the colors, I also have to do this. No. Yes. See, that changed it. And it also moved all of my stuff back to the same tag. That's ridiculous. <laughs> okay. Yeah. All right. Do the just quit that and quit that and uh, quit that. And move this over to three and two two. Oops. What a pain in the ass. <laughs> All right. So that's cool. Um, it's a weird looking color scheme, but it's cool. But it doesn't affect DWM blocks. Uh, all right. So my whole purpose of the video, if you remember, <laughs> was to colorize DWM blocks, but I don't think I'm gonna get that to get to that today. So that's disappointing. But you know what? That's fine. This is where we'll stop. We got Pywall working in DWM. That's cool. We also installed a patch so that I don't have to restart DWM every time I do a, you know a patch or a you know a color change. That's also cool. Um, so. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this nonsense, give us a thumbs up. If not, thumbs down, subscribe, all that stuff. Uh, we really do appreciate every single, you know, one of you <laughs> that, you know, views these videos. Um, the three cast, which is our podcast, which is the main thing we do on this channel, will be coming back this Sunday. We, uh, we're going to be talking about some 
unspecified topic at the time. So anyways, we'll uh, see you next time. Thanks for watching.